Hey everyone, this is Kathy with Lone Tree Rustics. I wanted to show you what you could do with a little Mod Podge and a gift bag. Being an owl lover and finding this gift bag was perfect, so I decided, hey, I need to make it into a picture. So I went home, grabbed a piece of lumber out of my scrap pile, and painted the front and uh, the sides a wicker white. You'll see that most gift bags are two-sided, so you can get two projects out of each bag. Therefore, you want to be mindful not to mess up the other side of the bag. You can see here that what I did was I did cut out my front side and I make creases so you can just turn it over and um, get pretty close to being the size of the, the project. I then added a layer of Mod Podge to the front and you'll notice that on my project I did not put it on the back of the paper. I did press down the front and I did add some to the front and to the edges of the paper making sure that everything stayed secure down. One thing I did do is it's really nice to add like a heat gun because I think it really does help seal those sides. I then took my mini sander and I roughed up the front edges, the side edges, along with the top so I could really make it look rustic and I could add the distressed ink. And as I was adding the distressed ink, you'll see that I took a paper towel, wet it down a little bit just to soften up the edges. As you can see, I even added a little distressed ink to the bottom portion where I was going to add the embellishments. The winter greenery I used was from Target in their $1, 3 and $5 section of their bargain bins. So make sure you go check out that section because that was off of a piece of garland that I found from there. And as you can see, I did add some pine cones. You guys know I'm a pine cone lover, so I had painted some pine cones with some acrylic paint and I added those. I then finished it off with a little winter greenery here and there, and look at this, guys. Isn't it the cutest? I'm an owl collector, so I added it to a winter wreath, and it's hanging in my hallway. Hey, thanks for watching, and be sure to like and follow for more DIYs.